To get started, we need to create our foundation chain. The foundation chain for this stitch is worked in multiples of six plus two. So for the purposes of this tutorial, I have crocheted 20, so that's um, 18 plus two. To get started, we need to do a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. I am talking in US terms. If you crochet in uh, UK terms, this is known as a double crochet. So not counting the chain on our hook, one, two, a single crochet into that stitch. Then I'm gonna skip the next two chains and in that third chain, I'm going to work five double crochets. So in the UK, that's a treble crochet. So one, two, in that third chain there from the hook, five double crochets. Keeping quite a loose tension for this. Three. Four and five. And that's created our first shell or fan. Again, I'm gonna skip the next two chains and in that third chain, I'm going to work a single crochet this time and then I'm going to repeat what I did before, skip two chains and work five double crochets in the next one. And it's that pattern repeat all the way to the end of the row until you have two stitches left. So I'll meet you back when you have two stitches left and we'll go over what comes next. Two, three, four, last one, five. So skip two, single crochet, skip two, five, double crochet, and I'll meet you when you're at the end and we're ready to move on to the next row. So I'm almost at the end of my row. I've got three stitches, three chain spaces left. I'm just gonna work into that very last chain space here with a single crochet. And if you want to change colors, um, now is the point to do so. I'm not going to change colours, I'm going to change colours every other row. So I'm going to do one more row with you and then I'm going to change colours. But if you're changing colours every row, this is when you should do so. So once we have completed our row, finishing with our single crochet, we're just going to chain one and turn. Now in that very first stitch here, to create our edges, we're going to almost create half shells or fans. So we're gonna work three double crochet into that very first stitch there. So the first stitch at the bottom of our chain one. Three double crochet. Two and three. Then just like before, we're gonna skip two, one, two, and working into the center stitch of our fan now and you're just gonna pop a single crochet into that stitch. And then you're gonna skip two again and you'll be working into the center of the two fans. So this one here with five double crochet to create another fan. And that's the pattern repeat throughout this row. So we're skipping two single crochet, skip two, five double crochet. And when you get to the end again, I'm going to meet you back and I'm going to show you how to finish off um, matching that half fan on the other side. Three, four, and five. So skip two, single crochet, skip two, five, double crochet in there. And like I said, I'll meet you back at the end and we can go through how to finish off our work. So I've got three stitches left, two on my fan and then my single crochet from the row below. So I just, as this side, I'm gonna work three double crochets into that last space to create my half fan to keep those nice straight edges. Once I've created my three double crochet, I'm going to work one single crochet in there 
But I'm going to change colours halfway through. So just before my last yarn over, I'm just going to take my new yarn and start with it. Then I am going to chain one and turn my work. Once you've turned your work, we need to work into the fourth stitch along with five double crochets. So we're missing this half fan from the row below. So one, one, two and three. We're missing those stitches there and we're working straight into this one here. So we're working in there with five double crochet. And five. Then just like the previous rows, we're going to skip two and do a single crochet into the next stitch, skip two, five double crochet into the next stitch, and so on until the end. When you reach the end, once you've done your last um, set of five double crochet in here, I will meet you back and show you how to move on to the next row. So at this point our work should be looking similar to this. Once you have three stitches left, we're just gonna repeat the beginning of this row and do a single crochet into the very last stitch. So skipping two chains, or two stitches, sorry, into the last stitch for a single crochet. Then we're gonna chain one and turn. And now we are gonna repeat row two. So we're gonna do a half fan into our first one, skip two chains, single crochet, skip two chains, five double crochet. So we're always working our fans in between our fan or fans from the previous rows. So yarn over and insert just underneath that chain one in there for three double crochet. Then we will skip two and one single crochet into the centre of that fan. Skip two, five double crochet all the way to the end. Repeat the pattern. So I will leave you to complete your five double crochet and I'll meet you back at the end, show you how to move on to the next row one more time before you can go away and create your swatch. So once we have three stitches left of this row, we're gonna mimic what we did at the beginning of this row, which was our half shell, three double crochets and a chain one. So we are gonna do three double crochets and a single crochet here. So we're just gonna go into that very last stitch and create that. So this pattern is a two row repeat. So to create your next row, you can uh, pause rewind the video and either go back to row one or row three um, to see what you're moving on to next and then your row two will always be row two, row four etc. So it's a really lovely pattern which is amazing for blankets, garments, gar garments, sorry, <laughs> dishcloths, that sort of thing. Um, I would love to see your work. I would love to see your swatches from this tutorial. So be sure to tag me over on Instagram at Hev's Home Crochet. And if you loved this tutorial, please like and comment below. And if you want to see more from me, you can subscribe by hitting that big red button below.